California. All right, what's up, guys? Got Dave here, and I just wanted to talk about the two things that I think about the most while I'm riding. And it doesn't matter if I'm on the street or on the freeway or in the canyon, whatever. I guess not at the racetrack, I don't think about it, but anywhere else that I'm on a bike, I'm always thinking about my following distance, like how close am I to the person in front of me, and the following distance of the person that's behind me. How close am I to the person I'm following, so if something happens all of a sudden, I'm not gonna hit that person. You know, I'm making sure I have enough time to react. But then the other thing that is equally important, if not more important, because you can't control it, is what's going on behind you. And that's why I'm always talking so much good talk about lane splitting and filtering and why I think it should be legal. Even though it is dangerous to be going between cars, it's a lot more dangerous for a car to come up behind you and just squish you between the person you're behind and them. Traffic up here is slowing down. This car behind me is freaking really close. So I'm tapping my brake with my right foot, <laughs> trying to give them some warning. I actually had someone leave me a comment on one of my recent videos and the person goes, how can you talk about safety when you're riding the way you do, splitting lanes? And I'm like, well, you obviously don't understand why I'm splitting lanes. <laughs> it's because of safety. You know, it's, it's the safer of the two options. You know, it's like, sure, it's not safe to do this and go between these cars, you know? And, and the person's comment, they're like, how do you know that person's not gonna try to swerve and take you out? And it's like, well, then that person's gonna go to jail. <laughs> you know, if they swerve and take me out and they do that on purpose, they're going to jail and, because you're not allowed to do that. And that's not a good enough reason for me to stop behind the person that I'm following and give the guy behind me the chance of rear-ending me. That's, uh, I'm not, I would way rather get taken out from the side than get squished from behind. Any day, thank you. Any day, I'll tell you what. And honestly, I think that riding in California is quite a bit different than other states that, like maybe the state that uh, this commenter was from because people here in California are really freaking cool, dude. Uh, and I really, I have not had someone try to take me out yet. You know, I've had people that kind of seemed like they didn't like me. You know, they didn't want to give me room, but they didn't actually try to take me out on purpose. You know, that's, that's not something that, that happens around here. Uh, at least not to me. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm riding the way that I should, and so therefore I, I just think that the cars are driving the way they should. <laughs> you know, it's just like how MC Rider always talks about, if, if cars are constantly cutting you off and doing this and doing that, it's probably you. It's probably you. It's probably not the people around you. It's probably you're going too fast or you're not looking far enough ahead or you're, you know, just doing something that is putting you in harm's way. But honestly, it's like here in California, a lot of people ride motorcycles. You know, even the people who are driving cars right now own motorcycles, <laughs> you know? Like when I ride around my neighborhood, anytime there's a garage door open, you look inside there, there'll be a motorcycle. You know, like everybody rides motorcycles around here in California. It's just, I mean, how could you not do that with the weather being the way it is? It's like freaking perfect. Yep, there's the brake lights. <laughs> Everybody always slows down going over this bridge. I don't know why, but it always happens. And then the cars behind me catch up, and it's like, as soon as I'm not splitting lanes, just that quick I'll have someone ride my butt. Like if I just sit here like doo doo in the middle of the lane, just that quick, the guy behind me is like within a car length. Just that quick. And that's not, <laughs> that's not where I wanna be. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to talk about that stuff. Two things that I look for the most or that I think about the most when I'm riding around. And leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And thanks again to all of you new subscribers that came over here from MC Riders channel. And a very big thank you to all of the subscribers who were here before who have been with me the whole time. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you very much. And ride safe out there. Have a great day. Peace.